back to my channel. My name is Laura and today is Top 5 Wednesday and the topic today is 5 books that you want to read by the end of the year. So I have actually 7 books to share with you that I want to read for the end of the year and the reason I chose these books or is because it's in my ABC challenge so I have a few letters that I haven't done yet and in order to complete I need to sue seven more books so here we go now most of these I don't know what they're about so I am going to share the blurbs on the back of the book and uh, the reason I chose these books is because it's the letter that I need to read so okay so the first book and uh, all these books, I have physical books except for one. I have one on my Kindle, and I will share with you which one that is. So the first book that I chose, I have to do the letter E. And the first book is End of Days by Susan E.E. E., and this is book three of the Angel Fall series. I already read book one and book two, and I gave them five stars. So I'm hoping that this won't be as good as those three, those other two that I read. Um, this one is about angels, and they are bad angels. Uh, they're not my, your typical um, very good angels. These are bad angels, and uh, it's really, really good. So I'm hoping that this one will uh, stay in the five range. So I have a hard time reading series. As I always say, I love the beginning, and then the end I don't like. So I'm praying that this one's a good one. So that's this one. Okay. Going to letter J. Letter J, I, what I did was I went on my Goodreads group and I went to all the books that I want to read and books that I own. And I took the folder and I looked for all the J books, which I hardly had any. Um, but I did che choose this one. I chose Just What Kinds of Mother Are You by Paula Daly. And I really don't know what it's about, so let's read the little blurb. It says, your friend's child, your responsibility, your fault. And that's what it says on the very bottom. And let's read the little bit of the back. International phrase, uh, praise for just what kind of mother are you? Uh, the very definition of a page turner, the sort of book that causes you to lose half a day without even noticing. Savor every page because this will probably be your book of the year. So it sounds really interesting. A crackling good read, an intense, gritty, and heartbreaking roller coaster ride, hypnotic and harrowing, right up to the pulse, pounding and unforgettable. So that's all that I read on the back. And yeah, it seems pretty interesting. So I'm hoping that this will be a quick read. And this is for my J. Okay. Now, the next book is the one that I have on my Kindle. And the book that I want to read, I will put the picture here. <laughs> um, it's called Kind Worth Killing. And I'm going to read the little blurb from Goodreads. It's a devious and psychological suspense involving sex, deception, and an accidental encounter that leads to murder. So it sounds really interesting, and I hope it's a quick read as well. So This next book is the letter M, and I this one is on my 2016 reading list. And it is an LGBTQ book. So um, I chose The Miseducation of Cameron Post. Um, and this is by Emily M. Danforth. Um, and this was rec recommended for me to read by a YouTuber. So um, I don't really know much about it. So I'm going to read a bit ab about the back. And it says, When Cameron Post's parents die suddenly in a car crash, her shocking first thought is relief. Relief they'll never know that hours earlier she has had been kissing a girl. But that relief doesn't last, and Cam is forced to move in with her conservative Aunt Ruth and her well-intentioned but hopelessly old-fashioned grandmother. She knows that from the, this point on, her life will forever be different. Survival in Mills City, Montana means blending in and leaving well enough alone, and Cam becomes an expert at both. Then Kali moves to town. Beautiful pickup driving Kali is a perfect cowgirl with the perfect boyfriend to match. She and Cam 
uh, forge an unexpected and intense friendship, one that seems to leave room for something more to emerge. But just as that starts to seem like a real possibility, un ultra-religious Aunt Ruth takes drastic action to fix her niece, bringing Cam face to face with the cost of denying her true self, even if she's not quite sure who that is. And that seems pretty interesting, so I'm going to read this for my letter M. So, okay, so the next book, I am going to cheat on this one. Um, the next book is Q. And I chose Quarantine, um, the first book in the series, and the first book is called The Loners. But it does say Quarantine right here, so I am using this for my Q. <laughs> um, and this one um, is a YA book, um, and it says, as original, The Hunger Games, um, and uh, set in, within the walls of a high school exactly like yours. Um, that's what it says on the very first blurb on the top. And on the back it says, A modern day Lord of the Flies. It was just another ordinary day at McKinley High until a massive explosion uh, devastated the school. When loner David Thorpe tried to help his English teacher to safety, the teacher convulsed and died right in front of him. And that was just the beginning. A year later, McKinley has... Uh, descended into chaos. All the students are infected with a virus that makes them uh, deadly to adults. The school is under military quarantine. The teachers are gone. Violent gangs have formed based on high school social cliques. Without a gang, uh, you're as good as dead. And David has no gang. It's just him and his little brother, Will, against the whole school. In this frightening, dark, and captivating novel, uh, Lex Thomas locks readers into a school uh, where kids don't fight to be popular, they fight to stay alive. So it sounds pretty interesting, so I'm hoping to read this for my letter Q. Okay, so I was in Barnes & Noble and I said to the guy at the desk, I said, I need an X and I also need a Z. So my last two books are X and Z and... <laughs> My ex, I'm not sure I'm going to like, uh, but I do have an ex book. And the book that he chose for me was Exonicide by uh, Orson Scott Card. And this is a science fiction book, so I'm not sure I'm going to like it. Um, and it says um, science fiction. And the Hugo nominated national best-selling sequel to... Um, end this game and speaker for the dead. I don't know. Um, and on the back, I'm just going to read the very top blurb. The war for the survival of the planet Lastenia will be fought. I can't even see my, I don't have my glasses. In the heart of a child named Gloriously Bright. And I have no idea what this one's about. So it's science fiction and we'll see if I like this one. And the font is so tiny. Oh no. I don't know. I'm probably going to struggle through this one. But this is the one I chose for X. Okay. And the last book is a letter Z. And I read this author before and I liked uh, his book. I read um, Summer Days, I think it was called. Or Some Day, Some Summer Day, or I don't know the name of it, but it was really, really good. But he doesn't really, really write contemporary. So um, this one I picked up is called Zero Day by David Baldacci. And I hope I said his name right. Um, it says a terrific storyteller. And I really don't know anything about this, but it starts with the letter Z. So I'm going to read the back a little bit. Um, and actually, the back just tells us about the David Baldacci. And let's see if I can read the front. Okay. Um, it's still uh, the modern master of the thriller and worldwide best selling novelist comes a new hero, a lone army special agent, taking on the toughest crimes facing the nation. And Zero Day is where it all begins. Zero Day. John is a combat veteran 
and the best military investigator in the U.S. Army's Criminal Investigation Division. His father was an Army fighting legend, and his brother is serving a life sentence for treason in a federal military prison. Uh, Palmer has an indomitable spirit and an unstoppable drive to, to find the truth. Uh, now Palmer is called out on a case in a remote rural area in West Virginia, uh, coal country far from my military outpost. Someone has stumbled upon a brutal crime scene, a family slaughtered. The local homicide detective, a heartstrong woman with personal demons of her own, joins forces with Palmer in the investigation. As Palmer digs through deception after deception, he realizes that absolutely nothing he's seen in this small town and no one in it is what it seems. Facing a potential conspiracy that reaches far beyond the hills of West Virginia, he is one man on the hunt for justice against an overwhelming force. It's his eager, expansive imagination that drives his books. And that is what it says in here. So this sounds pretty interesting, um, like a thriller to me, I guess. Um, and we hope to like this one. So those are the seven books that I chose to finish my ABC challenge. So wish me luck. Uh, I just calculated I have September, October, November, December, which is four months. So I have to read at least one, one a month or two a month. So I'm hoping to finish this and get this and finish my uh, ABC challenge. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in another video. Bye. Thank you for watching.